before we get started with the nonsense, um, next week is our Halloween episode, which means we are looking for the best of the worst of sexy costumes, things that should really not be sexy. So if you have terrible sexy costumes, you can send them to requests at radiodeadair.com. We're looking for store. We're not looking for like homemade ones because anyone can do that. Nine. Looking for nine. You buy yeah. like the spirit Halloween and nine. or Yandy. We're going to get a lot of Yandy. You can send those to requests at radiodeadair.com. We do like 80% of the Halloween episode off Yandy alone. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, Dan is still in the hospital. We did not expect him to be there this long. Um, Dan had major, major surgery on the 6th of October uh, for pancreatic cancer. And what they do for yeah. that, they take out like a third of the pancreas, your gallbladder, your bile duct. <laughs> And then they kind of rearrange your whole digestive system to accommodate all that missing shit. It's a big deal. It took 10 hours. Um, and he's doing okay, except that he can't digest food. Yet. Yet. Um, what the, one of the things they do is they create a second exit from your stomach. That's one of the accommodations for all the stuff they take out. And that second exit they've created is like swollen shut. Yeah. So everything he tries to eat, he just throws up. So he's on like IV nutrients. Mm. It's not even a feeding tube. It's like right into his heart. Just literally like nutrients to keep him alive. And he has a big tube coming from his stomach out his nose to drain all the digestive fluid that his stomach isn't using because he kept saying he was nauseous and then they had to drain three liters of fluid from his stomach and they were like no wonder you're Ooh, la, la. nauseous um so the, the I mean, swelling is su the swelling will go down eventually yes it? yeah. be, it's not a super serious thing they did get the whole tumor which is great that yes. is gone and that's the important thing. Um, unfortunately, we just kind of have to wait this out. Yeah. So he's going to be in a hospital on tubes until his stomach decides to get on night board. Um, which, like, we're at the point where the cats have gotten used to him not being here. So when he does come home, I fully expect they're all going to treat him like a ghost. Because <laughs> he's been gone for, like... A week and a half now and the first few days they were all furious with me they were all ignoring me now they're like all right this is life now everything you know that, that that dude's gone and when that happened with my dad when he came home and that cat saw him my mom's cat like that cat puffed up into a cotton ball and took the knife off because that cat had decided he died <laughs> so dan's like we should probably film when i come home because they're it's gonna yeah, it's be like thing. it's like when when dudes come home from like overseas fighting in you know the wars and Nine. they have the, they have the videos of the dogs and the dogs are so happy yeah. and they're jumping around the shop. this is gonna be like the cats exact, are like Nine. Ooh, that's a demon <laughs> so the exact Ooh, la, la. The opposite so <laughs> but yeah so like driving to the hospital every day it's about half an hour each way oh. I got two cats on Prozac now uh Simba is also on steroids for asthma. Aww. So like I get home from the hospital, I got to feed everybody. I got to fight with Peggy and Simba to give them medicine. And then I pretty much fall down. Well, I'm glad. And that's, I'm glad Dan's going to be OK. I'm glad you're here. And that's the important thing. Dan is going to be OK. Yes. Good. It just is going to suck to be Dan for a while. Yes. And yeah. let me tell you, like, the stuff coming out of that tube out of his nose is disgusting. Well, yeah. It, it. Like, there's a reason you can't see inside your own body. Because it's horrifying. Just in case you were wondering. Hello, if you met my husband, he's a series of tubes. <laughs> he is right now. But he's my series of tubes, and I love him. <laughs> All right, let's let's get this intro going because you're back and shit's terrible. Yay.
each week. Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit, bring it back here for a little something we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong. And uh, we got a lot. <laughs> we got video, we have things, we have a lot. Although you did last week, you did miss. We had, remember the uh, the classified um, army shit that someone put on a gamer forum? Yeah. It happened again. The same <sighs> fucking game. <laughs> but a different dude? A different fucking dude. <laughs> wow. Did Luke get through a week without poop? No, but we did have pee. We had a guy called 911. Because he needed, he was stuck in traffic and he needed to pee. So he called. A man? Point. Yes. You can just pull over anywhere. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, well, speaking of calling 911 for help, this is kind of not how it works. I, I don't know if you've ever been pulled over before. I don't know if you've ever had to deal with the police and all their hellish forms. There is a procedure to it, and it sucks. Yeah. And depending on what color you are, it sucks worse. Yeah. This is not the procedure for handling it. And I guarantee you, it's not going to help your situation. Suspect who stole U-Haul calls police and asks for deputies to stop chasing him. This is where I live. <laughs> Adams County, Colorado, a driver who allegedly stole a U-Haul truck called police dispatch and asked for deputies to stop chasing him after they located the stolen truck. Around 1.40 a.m., Adams County Sheriff's located the stolen U-Haul, parked at a convenience store. When deputies approached the vehicle, the driver took off. Police pursued the truck, and the driver called dispatch to ask why he was being chased and wanted the deputies to stop. Sir, you're in a stolen vehicle. Yeah, no. Nah. Well, well, can can uh -huh. I get back to you? Can I get back to you on that? Look, look, it's not it's not good for me. Let me get my schedule and I'll see when there's a good day for this, okay? Cuz it's not a good day. It's it's not a, it's not a good day for me. <laughs> I can just hear about the phone like, "Guys, come on, guys." Come on. Guys. I don't, I, I don't really want to do this today, guys. Like, I got I got stuff to do. Like, man, I got, I got to go, I got to go pick up some You guys are being real buzzkills right now. Oh, guys. Police had to, had to use tire deflation devices. The vehicle finally stopped when the driver was arrested. Yeah. Right or wrong, good or bad, you don't get to negotiate with these people. Well, not yeah, unless you're holding a gun on someone. Did yeah. you think they were going to be like... Okay, just this once, though. Yeah, you, if you're if you're literally in, they say possession is nine tenths of the law. If you're literally in possession of a stolen thing, yeah, you're it's on your ass. That's kind of how that works. Also, that expression is bullshit. Mm -hmm. It is it actually is. If you stole a thing, that doesn't make it yours, Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you wanted it more. <laughs> Uh, I, you know he was he was like man come on man you know he was a come white on boy. I gotta get home I, I work tomorrow next up is meet a motherfucker who never had a consequence in his life that that's what the, that's that's the 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 uh the subheading on this next up story men New Orleans man charged with threatening. Oh, get out of my fucking way. Computer. Call with threat. Charged with threatening to lynch Mayor Cantrell. Just, just guess which ethnicity the mayor is. Just, just guess. Just guess. You want to go with black? 49 year old New Orleans man faces charges after police say he sent emails to Mayor Latoya Cantrell accusing her of committing treason and threatening to lynch her. John Dorian was booked yesterday into the Orleans Parish Jail on charges of threatening a public official and making obscene phone calls. Jail records also show he has a municipal attachment 
Uh, the police report says Dorian sent an email to the mayor's public account, public account, fucking public, on August 18th that read, quote, it's time for you to answer for your crimes. And went on to say, when it comes for your lynching, I'll be the first one in line to pull that lever. This is the second person to be arrested for threatening Cantrell within a month. In September, police arrested 59-year-old Daniel P. Jenkins. Cops say he called 911 and told the operator he would shoot the mayor if his garbage did not get picked up. Nine one one is not customer service. No, we've 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 covered yes. And the trash pickup didn't come is not an excuse to murder somebody. Are you sure though? Because that sounds yeah. like you know. Because I really want to though. But like Jesus, fuck! I swear to God, the, the the audacity of someone to think they can send an email publicly from their own address. To an elected official across a public account, which means it goes through government IT, there's storage, there's backups, they can trace that shit. They don't even need a warrant to trace that shit. They can just Even go, if you made a burner, you have an IP address. Even if you made a burner Gmail. The idea. Probably didn't. The idea that, that you could do all this consequence free. You are a man who has never had to face a fucking consequence for a fucking thing you've ever done in your fucking life. You know, you know this dude is? This is the dude that's like, I ain't got no vaccine. It's got a microchip in it. Government's going to track me. And he has a smartphone. Yes. They all have And a car with a GPS in it. They all have that shit. They, these, these are not, they, they're not sending their best. What I I, I want to know what she did that was treason. I was she's a Democrat. Probably that's all her uh, takes. Yeah, because the definition of treason has come to be didn't do what I wanted today. Mm -hmm. And you know he's still right now. Like I didn't do nothing. You ain't got no right to hold me. I'm, okay. just, I'm just trying to defend America. I just, I just love America. Why is anybody here love America? You know, I read today about there, there's at least five of the people who were arrested on January 2nd who are uh, Jan January 6th or as a result of January 6th. There's at least five people who are acting as their own attorney and it's not going well for them. One of them got into a shouting match with the judge on the bench. Like, wow. at, like the, she's one of those sovereign citizen loonies and, and thinks oh, so your mortal laws don't apply to me. Yeah, it's it's it did. It, it, it's not going well. That's imaginary. <laughs> yes. It just just in case you guys think um, th there's some way you can not, the laws of a country cannot apply to you, um, they have the guns. The end. I mean, for, 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 you could say we're part of society, we made these laws, we made these agreements. They have the guns. And when I say the guns, I mean they have a fucking plane that's fucking invisible to fucking radar. They have fucking robots like this big that can blow up your head like like a million miles away. They have the and guns. And their robots are piloted by a kid who never has to look at you. They have the guns. Their robots are piloted by a kid in a basement on an army base in Nebraska. It might suck. You might say that's not right. That's not how it should be. Right now, today, that's kind of how it is. Welcome to the dystopia. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking of, um, we, we quite often on the show have to remind people that it's cool to have a fetish. It's consenting adults, whatever, everybody involved. It's cool. If everybody's on board with it, got consent, everybody's comfortable. Everybody says, if anybody says no, they hop out. That's cool. You do you. You're allowed. Well, you, you, just, you have to live in this fucking flesh. Do it. Do, enjoy it for whatever it's fucking worth. Yeah, I mean, we're all trapped in these ridiculously inefficient meat suits. Yep. So you might as well get all the mileage you can out of it, right? But you're not allowed to bring in people 
who weren't did not get consulted on this shit. Man arrested for ambulance pleasure session. After summoning an EMT crew with a complaint of shortness of breath, a Florida man got fully naked in the rear of the ambulance and began masturbating in the presence of the first responders. According to police, who say the suspect wore a condom and used an ice pack while pleasuring himself. Now, for a second, you could say, well, the guy got into an ambulance. He's, he's having some fucking issue. If it's not drugs, maybe he's having a breakdown or something. He had a condom. This was prepared. This this was planned. I, mean, I guess for. that would consider it. The ice <laughs> pack confuses me a little bit. Investigators say that Terry Majors, thirty, called nine one one Thursday afternoon seeking medical assistance. Uh, but once once inside a Sunstar ambulance, Majors alleged, uh, Majors allegedly removed his clothes and began masturbating. Majors, who was quote wearing a condom at the time, was looking at EMTs that were trying to treat him while he was pleasuring himself. At some point in the, as the ambulance traveled in St. Petersburg, Majors asked for an ice pack and then proceeded to fold and masturbate with while en route to the high hospital. Responders are likely to prosecute. I'm thrown by the ice pack. <laughs> Jerking it with an ice. That's a new one. Because one. Yeah. Uh, there's a shrinkage thing. Yeah. Two. <clears throat> Disposable ice packs. <laughs> yeah. They're made of like plastic. MDM. Or sometimes now they're like paper. MDM in the channel says, oh yeah, save me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> but like they're I've never had an ice pack made of something that I wanted to rub on my nethers. Right. This this dude, this is kind this dude is this is a new one. For yeah. me. I mean, this is what is this like like anti necrophobia or anti necrophilia? That is a weirdly specific fetish. Right? Like this is like like I, I expect this is almost like as specific as something Chuck Tingle would fucking write, you know? Yeah. I mean, at least he wasn't gonna make them clean up after him. Right. I mean, yes. No, they aren't. They, they're getting paid, but not for this. But that still does count as the kind of crime that gets you put on a registry. Yes, you're going to have a bad time for ever. That's the kind of crime where you don't get to go near schools anymore. Ever. Forever. <laughs> that, that's, that's just... Don't, don't... Like, just... At any given hour of any given day, you can turn on your television and find some fucking generic medical drama. <laughs> like, you can find a rerun of fucking Grey's Anatomy or ER or I don't even know, one of the 400 other generic medical dramas full of attractive white people that permeate our airwaves. Rent to the channel says, uh, you're all heroes, sir. Please, please put your dick away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, Kel says, I don't think his insurance is going to cover this. No. Let's not all go outside and do that at 7 p.m. for Flutter the frontline workers, okay? <laughs> Flutter Nutter says, the safe word is wee -oo wee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to appreciate that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, next one. You've seen Little Shop of Horrors, right? Yes. A lot of people watching may not. It, ever sometimes I mention this stuff and people are like, you ever seen that really old movie, Empire Strikes Back? There, there were rumors that they were going to do a remake with Chris Evans as the dentist. Yeah. But it doesn't seem to have panned out. It's interesting. Which is good because that would have hurt my heart. It's interesting you mentioned the dentist because uh, our next story, um, you, you, you saw the bit, the dude with the nitrous huffing it. Driving the fucking motorcycle. Well, guess what? <laughs> Driver huffed gas, crashes into house, porch collapses. Lincoln Police wow. Department, Lincoln, Nebraska, says a man who huffed gasoline crashed into a home and caused the porch to collapse. Sunday around 5 p.m., police officers were at a crash scene near 20th and 8th Streets when they requested assistance from Lincoln Fire and Rescue. 
According to police, a driver going down A Street crashed into a home, which caused the porch to collapse. First responders said they worked to make contact with the homeowner, and the driver of the car got out with no injuries. You know the first thing he said when he got out of that car? Woo! <laughs> but I do like the smell of gasoline, though. Don't do that. Actually, I, I don't. I don't like snorting, but like if we're sitting at the gas station, I am like, well, please, just kill a few brain cells while you run errands. You please know? say the driver was huffing compressed gas and then crash into the house. According to the police, the driver, a 20 year old man, was cited for willful, reckless driving and DUI. I, yeah, because just because it's not alcohol doesn't mean it's influence. It's OK, yeah. right. What? <laughs> Winky says, it's assholes like this is why gas prices are so high now. I mean, to be fair, that roof didn't look like it had a lot of life in it anyway. Oh, it, I mean, it... Like, that porch looked like a stiff breeze might have taken it out. No, I'm pretty sure that porch was okay. I'm, I think what happened... It has, porches, they kind of have, have supports. They don't have, like, walls and interior, but they have, like, posts. And you, it's kind of, you're propping up a uh, but I'm looking at like, look at the roof shingles. Yeah. And if you don't know, they don't look like it, but those motherfuckers are heavy. Well, they were they were probably in the right place before the fucker came down, Tara. They are extremely heavy. And I don't know that the unit is strong enough to support all those very heavy shingles. Exactly, Valkyrie. See, Valkyrie agrees with me. And it, That's just me. I mean, I'm not saying you should huff gas and run your car into it. It's Obviously. It's just one of the fucking things about the human goddamn condition. Every day of your life, you just be hanging out, sitting around, normal day, watching your shows, <laughs> then fuckers huffing gas and crashes into your goddamn porch. Meanwhile, I've been so stressed out that I'm dying. Like, we have a little jar of edibles. But I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take an edible and chill. I can't get them open. And I never realized that every time I've used them before, Dan has opened the jar for me. And it, you have to, like, <laughs> squeeze the sides and then pop the top off. But it's made for, like, the Incredible Hulk. So I can't do it. And I mentioned that to him and he's like, oh, bring them in. And I'm like, I don't think I should bring the marijuana edibles into the hospital for you to open for me. I don't think that's a sound idea. I should just be huffing gasoline, apparently. It's cheaper. Not by much. Is it? Not by, yeah. Not by much. Well, oh, got two more, and they're both wacko. Um, we're going to start in Australia. <laughs> he huffed and pushed and crashed the house down. He did. He, he fucking did. He huffed and he puffed and he crashed the house. <laughs> Who said that? Retro K283. Well yeah, done. that that's that's beautiful. That's yep. Fucking yep. <laughs> God damn. All right, next one's Australia. And um there was a plan here. Yes. An incredibly stupid plan. But a plan. And we have video, and you're gonna see that video right now. Cause it's fucking wild. Suspect led police on a destructive high-speed chase on a tractor, and the whole thing was caught on camera. Oh, there he goes. Police in uh, Queensland, Australia. Police video showing someone using a front-loading tractor for an attempted smash-and-grab motorbike theft. So he crashed into the store, got a couple motorbikes on the prongs of the tractor, and drove off. The suspect dropped the bikes and took off in the tractor, leading police on a dangerous pursuit through residential streets. It went off road through fields and through a rail yard at times weaving on and off train tracks. Eventually the road race became a foot chase as the driver abandoned the tractor. Police said canine units found the man in a Creek. He was taken into custody. Police say the motorcycle business sustained heavy damage. Okay, you can see that right there. It's, it's fucked up. That's, that's all that's fucked. That's like, why are you going to steal shit and break it? Uh. But also, 
Is it just me or does it look like that transformer with the testicles? The what? You remember, was it the second or the third shitty Transformers movie? There was one of them that had like Devastator. Ball. De- Devastator, yeah. That's not yeah, okay. They called him Devastator. But here I here I am with, like that with the, Here's here's my my tiny young self speaking up. They called him Devastator, but that was not fucking Devastator, okay? That was bullshit, is what that was. That was bullshit. That was is, Michael Bay is bullshit. bullshit a Transformer? Is he like a Decepticon? That wasn't him. That was bullshit. <laughs> No, I'm mad, but, but is bullshit like a Decepticon? No, that's no. No, bullshit <laughs> is a fucking ridiculous grown up fucking asshole producer, director, son of a bitch named Michael Bay. That's bullshit. Anyway, I'm just saying when I saw that little tractor drive away with the two bikes swinging, that's what I thought of those two wrecking balls over John Turturro's head. So yeah, this this is this is there was a plan. There was thought put into this. Okay, this not but much was more. There because either way, you were gonna fuck those things up. I'm well. It was an idea. It was like the resale value is not going to be great. No, no. I mean, you can't just. It's it's not like at the claw machine, at the fucking no. Denny's. <laughs> But that was the plan. Yeah, it kind of was. It kind of it was. The, he there was thought. There was about as much thought that went into this as as like two dudes banging rocks together to make fire thousands of years ago. That's about as much thought. But there was thought. Just little little sparks, little neurons, couple of them still firing. They tried those little neurons. They tried, and then. He, not only did he drive away on the stolen tractor, he didn't even keep the, the, the motorbikes and he had to run on. You can't really do. Well, okay, apparently he did a bit of a high speed chase in the tractor. That's true. He did get away a little bit of it. But again, yeah, those don't go very fast. No, you're like you're going 35 miles an hour. Like there's a reason the Duke boys weren't driving a Caterpillar. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Would never get away from Boss Hog. I just the fuck, um, dude. I just don't understand the theft process that involves breaking the shit you steal. I not making a lot of sense. To me. Even I mean, he could have just busted the window very quickly, gotten the bikes, and put them on the loader. Without, yeah. Did, then you'd still be able to carry the bikes away, only they wouldn't be all fucked up. Yeah. That would have definitely been a better plan. All right, so if he's listening, you've got notes for next time. We got more. Yeah, next time you do this. Or fuck, you're in Australia. Just collect a bunch of horrible, venomous bugs and run them behind you to stop the cops from chasing you. You live in hell. Use it to your advantage. You say that. I wish I could live there, given what's going on right now. Seems like it wouldn't be half bad, honestly. I mean, I know their leadership's kind of stupid, but no. Until a spider this big eats your head. Kind of. You know what? I don't think I'd mind so much. Fair's fair. I would. Last one is Florida. I was already tried with my leg. Last one in Florida, and this one is a fucking epic from Kissimmee, Florida. Holy shit, what the hell? Man attempts to steal helicopter at Kissimmee Airport after a hit and run. 31-year-old Brandon Marti arrested by Osceola deputies. Man driving a stolen car crashed through a fence at the Kissimmee Gateway Airport, drove onto the active runway and entered a helicopter and started pushing buttons in an attempt to fly it away. Record show the investigation began with a hit and run car crash at the intersection of Oak Street. Uh, police say a man involved in the crash, uh, crash, crash, 31 year old Brandon Marty, uh, Marty maybe, I say it's Marty with an I, so I'm, anyway, uh, broke into an occupied home off Forest Avenue took a pair of keys and drove off in a silver Nissan Altima. 
uh, Marty, a former football player at the University of Miami, record show, uh, then drove that stolen car to Kissimmee Gateway Airport, where he rammed it into a gate, leaving the car inoperable. Then he ran to a Ford F-150 and got into an altercation with the truck's owner as that man tried to prevent Marty from stealing the truck, but he was unsuccessful and ended up being dragged by the truck. Then Marty drove the truck to a helicopter, got inside, turned the keys in the ignition, and pressed buttons in an attempt to start the aircraft. Like, you leave the keys in the helicopter because who the fuck is going to steal a helicopter? Who is going to break into an airport? And steal a fucking helicopter. And you just know this guy was in there like, man, in GTA, you just have to press XO and it goes. <laughs> Security guards confronted him after a verbal altercation. He drove off in the stolen Ford. Deputy said they managed to blow out the truck's tires after a short pursuit. Stopped at the entrance to a uh, Parton Village shop, shopping plaza, shipping plaza, sorry. And then attempted to carjack another driver. Deputy zapped him with a taser, then handcuffed him. So this dude oh. was had to be somewhere. Apparently. I don't know if you can, I know if you can see Dolly. I see her. This Hello. Hi. Hi there. So apparently he had to be somewhere. Quickly. Like, if you were worried about getting in trouble for the hit and run, I promise you the answer was not to steal 72 cars in a helicopter <laughs> and drag a guy behind a truck. What is the specific? I know we have Grand Theft Auto. What's the specific law you broke? Trying to Fuckery? steal a helicopter. <laughs> You're charged with 16 counts of fuckery. <laughs> How do you bleed? What's the specific law? Is is there like a great? There, there can't be Grand Theft Helicopter. That seems too weirdly specific. Get to the chopper. Oh no, yeah, get to the chopper. It probably falls under some level of grand larceny. I guess. But you know, you know the guy who's the last person who's in there. I could put the keys. Who's gonna get the helicopter? Gonna fucking break into our airport and steal a helicopter. Also. The gall of this motherfucker to think how hard could it be? That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, in the movies, they just do the thing and it goes. Sir. I would just, if you put me in the cockpit of a, of a helicopter, I would be intimidated beyond yeah. belief. I would be terrified of hitting anything. Even like the fucking loudspeaker, I wouldn't fucking the radio. I wouldn't fuck anything. Just no, fuck yeah, it. Yeah, because you no. just never know. And it has those big blades. Those scare the shit out of me. I got it. I don't need to be accidentally decapitating anybody today. I've never ridden in a helicopter because those things fuck with me. I know. I know they are perfectly safe. If yeah, I've never properly. been in a helicopter either. I know it's safe, and yet. Safe. Also, I've never been outside of an airplane. Fucking jets and those props, they mess with me too. And I say this, I've used a lawnmower. I've been around spinning blades before. Kill the fuck out of that guy in the lost pilot. Sucked him right in. <sighs> so it's just, this is, you got, you, you have, it's like, in a life, you have a finite amount of shit you can pull. And you just did it all in one day. <laughs> like, are you on the run from the mob or something? <laughs> like, what? What would cause you to be so afraid of getting in trouble for a car accident that you would go to these lengths? Gave Bing Rive's wife a foot judge. <laughs> Massaged Bing Rive's wife feet. Right? Like, what did you do? <laughs> I, I don't. God damn. Because this doesn't seem worth it. <sighs> you know who it was? Is a Columbia Record Company. Those fuckers follow you forever. <laughs> and there's like nobody. 
there's a certain cutoff for people understanding that fucking joke. Because because there's yeah. gonna there's 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 a cutoff age. A lot of people are gonna be like, what? 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 And the other people are gonna be like, yeah, fucking twenty albums for a fucking penny. I did that. Maybe joke. he just didn't want to be seen with his beard in that state. Oh my god, yeah. Let's have a look. It's got a wonderful. Damn. I'm one to talk these days because I don't go out so much, so I'm not not so. I let things get a little shaggy. Yeah, you don't look like somebody poured Elmer's on your face and then sprinkled broken up Brillo pads I or somebody. I kind of do a little. Like I say, like, shame to say, it's I'll, like thick I'll cop here, to it. but then thick here, and then there's the man bun and oof. Oh, so so the first thing I might I might jack a car to not have to be seen like that too. The first thing we learned this week is um, it's you're. You can't, it's, how hard can it be? There's usually a very good answer to that. Yeah. Oh my. It can be pretty hard. Where are we? Are you trying to get to space? Um, we've learned that if you fuck up the thing you're trying to steal, what's the point of stealing it? We've learned that in this economy, you're going to huff the gas, put the fucker in the car. Jesus. Yeah. My, I, I drive a roller skate. I drive a little toy car. And it cost me $35 to fill my tank yesterday. It usually costs me 20 I drive a toy. I drive a Fisher Price, my first car, basically. I got a, I got an ancient Ford Ranger. I don't drive that much. Um, we uh we've learned that um it we we are not going to shame you for your kinks but you got to get everybody on board first. You, yeah. It's not a spontaneous, "Hey, what if we just do this?" It's not like it is in the pornos. No. Porn lies to you. Like a lot. <laughs> um we've learned that you can tell immediately who's never suffered the consequences of anything in their fucking life. Yeah, damn, yeah. the audacity of a motherfucker. It's like they're all the main character in a fucking little movie. Like, no. There's a lot of people who think that. They think everybody else is just extras in their movie and other people aren't really people. And those people are scary. And finally, we, we, we found out um, when the police are chasing you, terrible things, yeah, it's, it sucks. But trying to call them and ask them to stop, not... Come on, gonna, guys, it's not going to work. Yeah. Come on! That's not, that's not, a, that's not a legal strategy. That's, uh, no. You've got to... Stop, stop the fucking car. Stop the fucking car. He got caught. Sucks. No, no fair. I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> Give me five minutes and try again. I wasn't ready. No fair. Yeah. Count to ten. Cover your eyes and count to ten. 